Let's go over another data type in the bookmap columns that are located on the right hand side of the bookmap chart next to the price ladder. In the current order book column here, let's right click and let's insert a new column. And then in the new column, let's right click again. And we're going to select the data type here, trades counter. Okay, it's a bit different than a volume counter here. So let's click on trades counter. And what we're looking at here with the column heading CTC, which stands for chart range trades counter, we're looking at the number of transactions that have occurred at each price level. A volume column, you're looking at the number of volume that has traded per each price level here in the viewable chart. Instead, we're looking at the number of transactions that have occurred uh, at each price level for this viewable chart. We offer this data type because in the high frequency environment or algorithmic environment, it may be more insightful to look at the number of transactions that have occurred instead of the volume that has traded. For example, instead of seeing one large trade go through for a volume of 100, you will see 100 trades go through for each of a volume of 1. Therefore, gaining insight to the number of transactions that have occurred might lead to insight that's not available in a volume column. Let's go through some of the settings here. We'll right click in this column. We can look at the chart range accumulated, which is currently selected, or select session accumulated. Now the chart heading says session range trades counter and is giving us all of the transactions that occurred since I opened my book map and started collecting data. Let's right click again and go through the different configurations for the column. We'll click here and you basically have the same different configurations that are available for a volumes column. You can show the bid or show the ask. You can display a VWAP, a point of control. You can change the colors, the visual options here for looking at bars only, bars and numbers or just numbers only. And then for the styling options, you can split out the data, inverse the split, or if you look at the profile composite, you can align the data to the left, to the center, or to the right. 